Hi everybody! Heather Stargazer here to do reading for the collective for whoever, whenever, wherever. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Um, I just wanted to say um, thank you to the signs of Libra and Leo for all your uh, views, your support, um, your likes. So um, in order to uh, show you my gratitude um, and welcome you to this community, I'm going to give you guys a mid-month bonus reading. So keep your eye out for that today or tomorrow. Um, those will be those will be out. Um, but this reading right now today is for the collective. Whew. Already starting, we have the Two of Stones, the Nine of Scrolls, and the King of Scrolls. It says the Visionary. Mm. Is there some choice that we're making right at this moment, whether or not to cross a bridge, to trust, right? Is there something that's giving us anxiety and we want you waiting for information from someone who has the, like the authority or the know-how, right? This is somebody who deals in facts and they're delivering us, um, who's delivering us from our burden, right? They're, they're delivering us some information. It feels like we're, you know, trying to cross a, cross a um, divide here. We have the hermit. We have the Eight of Scrolls, and then we got two cards out. Ooh, the King of Stones and the Seven of Spirals. That's the Seven of um, Wands. And then on the bottom, we have the Nine of Stones, and that's the Nine of Pentacles. But it's like, in this deck, it's like she's walking away from something. It's like she's looking out onto the horizon for something. These are the stones that we've gathered, right? The things like, what are we building with them? Um, it takes a lot to move them and then here's this tree in the background she's it's almost like she's looking out onto the horizon like what is available to me next and it's also connected to um this hermit card which is a number nine and the nine of scrolls so that's nine 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 it, it really feels like we're at the precipice of completion point of um, moving forward through something and we're really taking an internal look right shining a light on something maybe someone is shining a light on something for us something is being discovered that's allowing us to cross over that space and then here's a bear and here's a bear and there's a bear right over there my bear bear puppy so two 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 the bear bears everywhere there could um, I'm, I'm feeling like you know this stone to bear the weight to bear the thing to carry but I'm also you know um take it how it resonates right bare bones I'm hearing bare bones like getting down to the to the fact of the matter right and that um having this nine of scrolls like having some sort of anxiety like maybe not having all of the information or getting an amount of information getting some information and playing that over and over and over and over in our minds right so it's almost like we need someone or something to step in and i heard fact check so fact check that information you've been given and that's interesting because a couple people have been talking to me in the past couple of days about things and um it's it's coming out here in that uh don't stress over it. Don't allow yourself to stress over it. Instead, um, seek out those who would know, those who would have the facts, maybe someone who can help you with that. And this is standing on higher ground. This is keeping our boundaries. This uh, this, uh, this bear in the cave here, the seven of wands energy, right? And it's taking that protective stance and, and having someone um, who has the information, allowing that for you and of you. This is the minstrel of uh, the king of stones here. That's the king of pentacles. We have two kings out on, on the board. Lots of pentacles energy. Lots of um, air energy. The real, real. How are we thinking about it? What are we processing about it? What is the information? And then, of course, the minstrel sings songs, right? So it's, again, about this feeling of news, even though the king of pentacles is not necessarily associated with news it has that idea of um oh that old familiar song i heard that old familiar song and here's this dog right here right and that he's singing with and my bear bear is a dog so um i don't know how that's uh, relating to all of you or what how that speaks to you but it definitely feels like a conversation between um two adult people who um are are this, figuring something out here that's going to relieve some stress i feel like we, when we go within when we go within that light is shined on some um, information some aspect right and again that idea of discovery and it allows us to um cross through or we it'll, it shows us what the hurdle is that we have to cross and remember we're we're thinking about what it is that we're building where it is that we're capable of going with what we have and if we need to um gather more stones or if we need to gather more information what's on the bottom of the page of air to start so again with that that idea of 
message in coming through and being very strong like there's a there's a strength here right king energy seven of sp spirals energy a lot of knowledge and know-how and again being close like being at that precipice point two of stones can we have a, a, a what are we what are we keeping our balance with here what is the trust issue or what is the trust issue Sagittarius energy here patience it says patience is that a gorgeous card Right, the healing that comes from that, the waiting, the reward of patience is patience, right? And then we have that nine of earth again, the nine of earth energy, and this time it's in the reverse. And maybe like um, having to balance that equation of what we can do on our own and what needs to be done um, again to get to that completion point, right? Being patient, to, it's almost like till we could break free, till we can cross that divide there, cross that uh, crevice, and and get to the other side. And in reality, look at the size of the bear. All right, and look at the size of the crevice it has to cross. Yeah, it could fall down deep, but I think that there's enough space between its steps here. I think it's it's got enough, um, to say like, uh, you know, surface surface space to be able to cover that and get to the other side um, without without having to you know take that big of a leap. And again, we're like we're really close to completion here so remember to stay balanced and to like she's like looking to the future there's clocks all over her there's stars right the long term in the long term how does this affect and and um, being able to wait for that and through that This hermit says the storyteller. What are the stories that we're telling ourselves? What are the what are the bits that we're re-examining of things? Um, this is a mixed deck. It is a mixed deck because all these came out in the reverse for the storyteller energy. Six of fire, not you know, not not succeeding at something. Three of earth that has to do with work. Um, four of wands, something that we've put a lot, in, and this also has to do with like community, right? And um, then we get two fours, the four of fire and the four of earth, like not wanting to hold on to something that maybe we had put our stakes in the ground with and for, um, because we're learn we're realizing that there isn't mastery over this, that maybe this isn't the community, it isn't as stable as we had thought that it was, and that's why it wasn't bringing in success for us. And like, here is this, like, what are, what were the lessons that were learned here? And that could be why there is so much anxiety, um, about like about the future like it was sitting in this space can you tell us yeah tell us about the nine of scrolls look at that justice and I, I feel like i want to i feel like i want to turn them upright but it is a mixed deck and the nine of scrolls in the um in the upright with the strength and the justice in the reverse you know these two cards are very interesting and very similar because in in some decks, the number 11 is the strength, and in some decks, the number 11 is the justice, and sometimes when that happens, they flip switch with the number 8, too, and um, because they're very, very closely related in the way that the energies work here. Look at that. There's like an injustice that has occurred that has drained us of, of our strength. Maybe we pushed a little bit too hard, um, or, or were, they wanted us to push a little too hard and like overexerted ourselves, right? And it comes to this this point where you're just feeling like exhausted from it and by it but i feel like um it's just like the interim right it's just like that in between space that anxiety of like falling down into that crevice but we're not going to um I, on the other side of this it's like we're not going to it's just that's the feeling that you're having right now because you're trapped in your head about it playing it over and over again looking at that those thoughts at those messages at those facts over and over and over and um it's causing anxiety what does this say eight of water now we have two eights out yeah having to move away from that emotionally right eights are connected to the strength card now we have three eights out we have three eights. Do we have any more eights? A lot of repeating numbers is the bottom line here. A lot of repeating numbers. And moving away from the things that, that put us in that mental loop emotionally by walking toward what it is that we truly want, right? And it gets like this very similar aesthetic, this person waiting for their ships to come in, this person looking at this tree, what can I build with what I've what I've gained, what I have, what's available to me. Again, IKEA life, right? They give us the parts and we get some sort of instructions, but it's up to us to put it together. 
right? And then like, what is, what is this about? Some people don't read the instructions at all and build something beautifully. And some people wind up with extra, extra bits and you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> right? So um, it's, it's kind of like a learn as you go process. And here we go. The visionary. What is this visionary about? Look at that temptation with the magician in the reverse. You know what? I want to apologize to you right now because I was reading this as a king and this is a knight. Which does change this. Like quick moving action, moving in, right? Bringing facts and figures coming through. Yes, that's still happening here. Might want to talk to somebody who has the information, but here we have temptation and the magician in the reverse. Are we, uh, what are we using the information for? How is that information being used against us or for us or by us or with us or involved in this situation? And I think that could be what's shining the light on this, like understanding what was actually going on in the background and how that thing um, was unsuccessful and now we're patiently waiting through this, right? And um, just the temptation to slip back into thinking that we don't have it all, all together, right? We do. Flip that, flip script, flip that. You are the master manifester, right? And it's about getting getting out of the that mind space that puts us into a space where we want to succumb to, some, to temptations that drain us of our powers of manifestation, right? There's a bird whispering in its ear, be careful of messages today. Remember, check those facts. And if something seems strange, well, then follow follow your gut instinct here because seven of spirals are standing, standing um, on a higher ground here, putting your boundaries in place, yeah, the emperor. What is it? Can you tell me about this king of stones? Whew. It's like I just heard, it's okay that if I if I got that wrong as a knight or a or a king, I was reading it how it was supposed to be how it was coming across, right? Um, not just what it says on the card. I was being reminded of that as I flipped this, and here's the emperor and the empress coming out here, seven of spirals over this king of pentacles energy here. Um, yeah. Yeah, standing firm because because you're you're coming out as um, being being at a higher level than all of the people um, that you're dealing with anyway in this situation, right? Building building that strong foundation, the hermit card, like all these major arcanas, like understanding um, that when an injustice occurs and it drains us of our, of our energy, of our of our. Um, you know our confidence, our, our our stability, right? When when something like that happens, it's important to focus on where it is that we we need to go and and where our fulfillment is, what needs to be done in that sense, right? And don't give in to the temptations that would that would continue to drain your resources from you. Keep your boundaries and keep it keep firm the um the the ground that you're standing on, right? Your your reliability, and then when the messages come through, um. It, it feels like quick moving action like somebody wants to take action very 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 quickly um keep in mind you know not to slip into some temptation of a thing that would drain you if you're if you need to move, use your actions very quickly maybe it might be to retract from that type of energy when these facts come in i just keep hearing just the facts get the facts fact of the matter right and then maintaining your defensive stance as um you know the the emperor and empress of your realm this is very parental energy this is very um master of all of them uh, teamwork divine masculine divine feminine working together right to maintain this and that could be uh, two different people this could be people exterior from you these could be aspects of yourself right just a 1333 take it how it resonates take it how it resonates on the bottom messenger of water we're, we're not no we ain't feeling sorry about this mm -mm, mm -mm. no apologies we're not going to be receiving an apology from the from any situation or anyone that might have wanted to do this from that had the intention to drain us right and we we are not apologizing for taking um control over the situation to bring back our abundance and boy will it ever right boy will it ever bring back this abundance so it just wants you to make sure that you maintain your boundaries with that um don't give in to temptation let's get this um you know, in Cotentimation, like the codependency, the thing that looks shiny but actually isn't, you know, like fool's gold. Well, there is a reason for pyrite. Like it has its benefits, right? But it isn't. If, if what you're looking for is gold, um, make sure you're finding the true, the true thing that it is you're looking for, right? Heed your dreams. Calm in the store and uh, let go of the old. 
absolutely. It's like, you, and then the visionary, right? The visionary, you have a vision of where you want to be. And it's about being patient so that, um, and, and taking that, that examination, that, that internal look within. Both of these things have, both of these cards have to do with um, internal knowledge and higher learning, right? So higher learning from source, higher learning from education, expansion of knowledge, going out there and sharing what it is what you've learned with the world. Storyteller here. You got the storyteller and the visionary and the menstrual. I mean, if, if, if there is something that needs to be expressed, you're, you're saying it without feeling bad or sorry about what it is that you're, um, what it is that you're expressing. And I'm not saying that you're doing it in a mean way, but like just the facts, man, are you saying it with the facts, need and necessity? What is it that you need? What is, it, what is it um, that you want? Right. And remember we have to like take care of our needs before we can take care of our wants. Um, otherwise it, it we wind, we wind up being in one of these, uh, you know, magician reverse with the temptation type of energies. And that's what we're trying to avoid here is like, heed your dreams, let go of the old and stay calm. Uh, union and power. And again, with that divine feminine, divine masculine, you could be powering up with powering up with someone today. Ooh, partnering up with somebody today. Right. Um, and remember when you say like you were you, that feeling of um, being so close to being able to complete the work and doing it on your own. Right. And then having that fear of not being able to do it on your own and just being patient through this. And then we get the, the ultimate power couple, right. Coming out at the, at, at the end of this. So your patience does, um, pay off and the worrying doesn't the anxiety is relieved so uh, by moving away from it emotionally so just keep keep that in mind what's it say on the bottom healing look at that sulcus healing mm. I don't know why I wanted to pull so many of these cards out today. I also have the, um, well, we'll get a few details, but I also have this funny little deck. There's a citywide garage sale. My neighbor gave me this deck that was like given to the, anybody who joined the history channel, um, as like a permanent life member. And it's a federal art project, uh, works administration. Well, we'll just pull one, but there are all these posters from like the twenties through the forties that the government had like commissioned artists to do to, to try to give artists more work. We get the ace of um, the ace of clubs, which is the ace of pentacles. It sees see America. Um, it, it it's Arches National National Park. It doesn't it look like like this hand, like you know what I mean, like touching solidity here, right? And that's really good. The ace of clubs is the ace of pentacles, so it's like the offer coming in. And I love this ten of cups, ten of pentacle or uh, ten of hearts, and it says visit the Brookfield Zoo. You know, um, go out into nature, go out into nature. And this one says, um, this is Indian Court, uh, which keep in mind this is from 1939s. We like Native American posters of different Native American um, drawings that were done for the for the Golden Gate International Exposition, right? And it looks again like this community and this like movement forward, you know, going outside and really um, going out into the world. Like heed your dreams, don't like staying is staying in a, a space too long. Let go of the old and go out there into the world. Figure figure out what you need. It's like that when you cross that divide, you're you're there, right? And this is the Trojan incident that's someone that's so funny at the St. James Theater because like the Trojan horse right and this um thing that's like pretending to uh be appealing but you know that it's draining of your strength and you know that it's that an injustice occurs and that nothing successful comes from it so um being careful to allow that back in once you've let it out because even if it tries to come at you in an appealing way just remember it for what it was and let go of that because there's so much more so much more wonderful beauty on the other side of it patience Patience, patience, patience. As a fire sign, not always my favorite thing to hear. But that's what we gotta do. Look at that. Discover your life's purpose. Right. It's all it's all just a test and look at that. Rejection. Absolutely. Rejection is God's protection, right? It's the universe's protection. That includes when you reject something, you are absolutely allowed to say no to something especially if it's something that's already caused you uh, strife, problems, issues, or you've tried it and it didn't work, you are absolutely allowed to reject that. That's what the empress and the emperor would do, right? They have quality standard. They have, um, you know, like a, a level that they, that they won't allow um, just to, to come through because 
they want a higher quality of, of self. They expect a higher quality of themselves. And I be careful because expectations are reservations for resentment. So I try not to have expectations, but I do have quality standards to um, keep myself healthy. And I think we all should in every way. And that's what this is about. It's like having the patience, not jumping at the bit, not accepting something um, that's uh, not, not the quality of which you seek. And that's part of that healing marriage. And there was in the reverse. It comes out like this. It was like kind of like sight. Like it's almost like there's, you know, that feeling of not wanting to do it on your own. Maybe you did try something with someone else, a different partnership of some kind that was unsuccessful. But I think being patient and coming on through this, you get the emperor and the empress at the end. So um, it could be like letting go of the old in order to um, receive the new and the true right and remember i always say it you can anything can be a marriage like you know a marriage of thoughts a marriage of ideas a marriage of people of course you know a marriage of businesses just however however um it applies to you but it's that that equal balance of masculine and feminine and we get the mature woman on the bottom yeah be um and again we're talking about that empress that empress energy allow yourself Allow yourself the time it takes to grow up. And then we have privileged lady now. We have adjudication. And we have child. And again, with that injustice, right? And having to, to like, that, that feeling. I was going to, like, talk to somebody who has the information. Talk to somebody who has, um, who, who, who can give you um, insight, who can give you the facts, who has the instruction manual, right? Who can make a decision here about the thing that it is that you're creating, the stones that are here, what are you building with it, right? And then like holding on to that, being patient with it also so that you can understand that you um, came at this from a, um, a child's perspective. You hadn't experienced, I don't care how old you are, if you haven't experienced before and it's new to you, right? Then you're kind of a baby with it. And then you, you learn how to do it and you grow and you adjust through it right we mature through it and we go from the child energy to the empress energy and we did get this page of cups in the reverse like don't feel sorry don't feel bad just let, let the process occur and love yourself love yourself through it be patient and then like again with this privileged lady was like who is this is that all of them oh i thought i had another deck out here well, I guess, I guess that's all of them. Well, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Like, right, like it's like a cliffhanger. Like, what is happening next? And I'm sure um, you, you know, you, when you cross that bridge, you'll get there. You'll see. All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. The train ride at 2222. And thank you for coming back and seeing us again next time.